My amendment will uh, reads, notwithstanding any other provision of law, any person who knowingly or intentionally imports fentanyl or any fentanyl-related substance across the southern border shall be punished by death. And I want to talk to you about why this is such an important, important amendment. Fentanyl, of course, we all know, is the number one killer of Americans between the ages of 18 and 45, and it's hard to comprehend that our young people are dying today from a drug that is go coming from China into Mexico and being trafficked across our southern border by the cartels. Fentanyl kills approximately 300 Americans today. In 2023 alone, CBP has seized over 17,000 pounds of fentanyl coming across the southwest border. This is enough fentanyl to kill over 3.8 billion people. That's how dangerous this drug is. Fentanyl poisoning deaths among teens accounted for 77% of adolescent overdose deaths in 2021. Fentanyl and fentanyl-related substances can be 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. We need to talk about people that are willing to cross our border. Of course, there's many reasons coming across, but they should never, ever bring a deadly poison into our country that murders Americans. In my state alone, fentanyl-involved deaths have increased in Georgia by over 230%. In counties throughout my district, the Georgia's 14th district, from 2019 to 2022, fentanyl-involved deaths have increased by over 350%. There's examples all over the country that are similar to the ones in my district. A 16-year-old girl in Whitfield County who had never taken any illegal drugs or substances in her life took a Xanax she thought was going to help her anxiety, and within five minutes, she was dead because it was laced with fentanyl. We also had many overdoses throughout the months and years that the Biden administration has been in charge, and the fact that fentanyl is murdering so many people in Georgia's, or, uh, northwest Georgia is shocking. In November 2020, another, another horrifying story that happens too much Corporal Christopher Jackson Dye, a Walker County Sheriff deputy, died after being exposed to fentanyl during an arrest. These are stories that we hear too often, but I'd like to talk with you all also just to let you know that there are 41 capital offenses that are punishable by death. Many of these, many of these capital offenses involve murder, um, all types of murder, murder related to smuggling of aliens, that is, that is punishable by death. Murder committed during a drug-related drive-by shooting, that is punishable by death. Murder committed by the use of a firearm during a crime of violence or drug trafficking crime, that is punishable by death. Genocide is punishable by death. And one could argue, is fentanyl a type of genocide in America today? Here we see Marjorie Taylor Greene from Georgia introducing a bill that would make uh, people who peddle fentanyl and other dangerous drugs into the United States, uh, they would be up for the death penalty if they were convicted of doing that. And it's very interesting here. I think that this really stems back to the border issue, which is where most of the dangerous drugs that are making it into America are coming from. And um, basically, we need harsher penalties for that, people who are selling these things and making money off these off these dangerous, dangerous drugs, need to be held accountable in a serious way, more more so than they are right now. It's not enough, um, and I think the Biden administration needs to take more action. We should be looking for ways to hold people accountable more than they already are for doing these things, because these drugs not only are they extremely dangerous for the people taking them, the people who get addicted to them, and it destroys their life. But it's also extremely dangerous um, to have the people who are selling these things coming across the border and entering into border towns and American communities. And these are not good people. These are cartel members. These are MS-13 members, gang members. And they're here to make money selling drugs. 
And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a shame that it's even up for debate whether there should be action taken on this. Um, but obviously, we, we see a lot of Democrats, uh, people in the Biden administration being very relaxed, very easy breezy on this issue, and it's unbelievable, frankly. So let me know what you guys thought of this, uh, this clip. What do you think of Marjorie Taylor Greene's proposal here? And as always, thank you for watching.